Good afternoon. So I resonated with part of his question earlier about there are moments when I get really resonant with my vortex, or I call it, and things that really light me up. And I'll experience a wave of productivity and, oh, my God, I'm on fire. And then the next day, it's like, well, where did that go? Well, it's all right, because as long as you're connecting the dots, you are empowered. When Esther first started receiving us, she'd say when something would go really great, because she'd intended it. Those were the words we were using those days, intend, deliberate creation. And she'd say, I did that. And when something not so good would happen, she'd say, I did that too. Connect the dots so that you understand how it works. Let's add to this. We didn't get here in the earlier conversation, but it's really part of this. Trending or momentum makes the difference. In other words, the other day Esther was boiling some eggs and she decided for some odd reason, it was us, to watch the pot until it came to a boil. <laughs> and she stood there and she thought, a watch pot is said to never boil but I've never believed that and so I'm going to watch this pot come to a boil and bubbles on the bottom and then bubbles around the edges and then before long the water was boiling at which point she turned it immediately off set the eggs aside put the lid on it set a timer for three minutes at three minutes she put it in cold water and had perfect soft boiled eggs from Esther's perspective of what those are for her then later she had some thoughts like why was that so interesting to me? And then she had more thoughts like, well, I did notice that the water had to get this hot before it could get this hot, 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 before it could get this hot. And then the manifestation of boiling water happened. And then she pondered, everything's sort of like that. But most people turn the fire on and turn it off and turn it on and turn it off and turn it on and turn it off, and turn it off. all with good reason reason that feels logical if you lose sight of your intention to get some boiling water so that you can have some soft boiled eggs and so it really is that simple it's attention to something and the more you give your attention to something the more momentum it gathers so in the same way that the water really does have to get this hot this is not exactly a scientifically technical explanation <laughs> But it's the best Esther's got for you And so here it is it Has to get this hot before it can get this hot Before it can get this hot Before it can get this hot And every manifestation that you experience is like that In other words There's a progression of the vibration That then produces the results that you want So you have to be steady on your focus That's all Steady on your focus How do you know you're steady? I feel good, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. Oh, that made me feel bad. Well, you've turned the fire off. Now, you might not have to start all over again. In fact, you really don't, but sometimes the water cools off. And then again, and again, and again, and again. So I'm... How do I say this? I've been... I can tell as an individual, I have really shifted my being in terms of my focus how I show up in life for most things and I'm noticing the environments that I created in my life AE relationships and current job responsibilities I, I, I don't choose to focus so much on what is I'm choosing to focus on what we want to create or what I want to create we would say you do that about 50% of the time in other words, you're back and forth and back and forth. It's all right. It's not easy to not face reality. It's not easy to not notice how much is in your bank account or what's in your mailbox or what you need to do or the responsibilities that you've gathered. We're not saying that you can just put your head in the sand and only think about only what you want, but it's so much easier when you understand the formula and when you understand when you don't feel good, it's because you've left the plot, but your inner being didn't. Now, if your inner being would lose the plot with you, which it will never do, then you wouldn't feel any separation. But what happens when you feel negative emotion is you've left the plot and your inner being who believed you and who has gathered the cooperative components stays focused. And so you're the only one that causes the separation. When we go like this between you and your inner being, that's not the best way. It's like this. And then you know what you don't want So you ask for more Then your inner being goes over there And then it's like this 
feeling pretty good, feeling not so good, feeling really terrible. I think I'll blame myself. <laughs> Your inner being just stays right there with the cooperative components. If you can accept these things, I was born worthy and still am. I came to create and nothing less than that will do. Everything that's coming to me is coming in response to my focus. That's what my point of attraction is. My inner being only focuses on what I have asked for. My inner being never focuses upon my unworthiness. There isn't any. My delusions about right and wrong. My inner being knows who I am and holds the frequency so that I can be aware of it. And once you understand those simple things, then you're off and running. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next